No decision yet from the judge on a special master for the Mar-a-Lago documents, but some new documents did get unsealed today. WPTV's Matt Sesney is live near the former President Trump's home with more details. Matt? Yeah, Tanya, this morning we actually got to see what's called a detailed inventory list of the items the Justice Department says it sees both from Donald Trump's office and a storage room at Mar-a-Lago. Now that list has 33 boxes, much like this one, that it says contain documents, among a lot of other things. Now, for instance, there were seven boxes from the so-called 45 office at Mar-a-Lago, which the document stated had seven papers marked top secret, 17 marked secret, and three confidential. Plus, there were empty folders, 43 with classified banners on them, and another 28 marked return to staff secretary or military. The boxes also contained other items, such as clothing, magazines, and articles. This all seized on August 8th by the FBI, and under intense pressure and criticism afterwards, much of the information is now being unsealed. And what we're finding out, raising concern from some legal experts. Two things, not only what's in his office, but the intermingling of <clears throat> classified information with uh, other documents. You're supposed to handle classified uh, documents in a, in a special way. That was Mark Schnapp, an attorney in South Florida who spent over seven years at the U.S. Attorney's Office here in the Southern District. As you mentioned, Tanya, at the beginning, we are all still waiting on a judge's decision on installing a special master into this case who could possibly be put in to go through all the documents that were taken by the FBI and begin to sort out those things that may be considered privileged to former President Donald Trump. We're live in West Palm Beach. Matt Sesney, WPTV News Channel 5.